What's up, it's Marco, Sage of Soccer, and today I want to talk a little bit about the championship playoff final. We had a pretty good game between Nottingham Forest and Huddersfield Town, and hey, Nottingham Forest, Ethan Horvath, Alex Mayen, they got promoted, commiserations to Dwayne Holmes, but yeah, a really good performance, uh, not much involvement by the Americans, Ethan Horvath did actually come on at the end, but didn't do anything, though I would argue that this is a good thing for his career, because just coming on in that type of game in general, like, that's got to be good mentally for a goalkeeper, especially as, like, a backup, which he might be in the American team. So, that's definitely something good to, like, keep an eye on. And I think at this point, like, we can't really have Stefan or Horvath, I mean, any lower than number two on our depth chart. Because if you want to have Stefan start... Well, Stefan, he really has been awful this year when he's been coming into Rusty, which is all the time. And Matt Turner had his worst performance of the year in the January window when he was out of form complete... Or not playing at all in the MLS. But Ethan Horvath, he's been able to play really well. So, even when coming off the bench in these type of situations. So, I think, like, worst case scenario, you have to have Ethan Horvath as, like, your number two goalkeeper on the depth chart. If you want to have Matt Turner or Zach Steffen st start over him, like, I'm fine with that. But I think Horvath, like, has to be at least the backup. And he's actually got a decent case for starting now. I mean, hey, at this point, three goalkeepers all in the Premier League, all backups. But, hey, I mean... I mean, I can't see Ethan Horvath winning the job. He already didn't impress Steve Cooper. And uh, Stevens definitely not winning that job from Ederson. I can't see Matt Turner taking it from Ramsdale. So, at this point, I think whoever is actually playing has to be the starter. Like, if Horvath gets a couple of games, one of those guys gets loaned out, I think they have to be the guy you go with. Like, even if it is Matt Turner, you want to argue, oh, no, he's not good enough with his feet now. Horvath, when he's rusty, like, his shot-stopping ability it doesn't go away. But go back and watch him his performances. His ability with his feet, like, when he doesn't have many games, his ability with his feet, like, isn't good. So, you know, whoever's playing really has to get game time. But good to see Ethan Horvath get promoted and even played a part a little bit. He had one kick, I think. Uh, Alex Mighton also promoted. He's still a dual national, so I won't talk too much about him. But probably not the best for his career, I mean, to be honest, like, I mean, I can't really see him playing much in the Premier League, and he wasn't a standout in the championship, so I'm not too sure if, like, a championship club will want a loan for him. But, uh, hey, good for him to get promoted at the very least. And, lastly, Champions League final. Like, man, that was fun to watch. Like, it's just nice to see the top level. Dude, Real Madrid's team is just insane. Like, dude, every player has the ability to just ping the ball across the field, like, in a cross-field pass perfectly. Like, that's, like, amazing. And yeah, Casemiro is, like, such an underrated player. Like, he has to be up there with, like, best defensive mids ever. Uh, Benzema, he's really cementing his legacy. And I feel like Liverpool still, like, are a little bit far off from, like, a best team ever to beat. I, I don't know, still need a couple more players. And Amani's moving on from them. Got to bring in a top striker, I think. But it has to be one that, like, fits their style of play. So it's going to be tough. But, yeah, that's all we really have to talk about. Not too much, but I just want to give credit to Ethan Horvath, Alex Mighton. Whole Nottingham Forest team. So yeah, that's all I've talked about right now. See ya.